Hey everybody, Brian here. This video is going to be useful for uh, trying to pair up your phone in terms of Bluetooth and also in terms of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on the bigger screens on, on uh, modern Hyundai. What I mean by that is the larger Blue Link screen, which is a 10.25 inch screen, which you see on Ionic 5 and you also see on Tucson. Just before we get started, this information is not going to be relevant to the eight inch screen that we find on i10, i20, i30, Hyundai Kona, but I will do a video uh, because there's more information on this particular one and that actually, some of these also have a wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto setup. Yeah, which is actually a bit weird. Uh, if you go for the real high spec cars in Hyundai, Santa Fe, the high spec Tucson's, Ionic 5, um, you don't get wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, but if you go for the lower specs on some of these cars, you do. Anyway, I'm gonna show you that in another video. So this video is really just about the Blue Link 10.25 inch screen on Santa Fe and also Ionic 5 and also Tucson, just how to connect the phone for simple Bluetooth and also then for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So whatever type of phone you have, just go into the settings menu on it and then go into the Bluetooth part of the settings and start looking for a new device. On the screen of these then, all you gotta do is go into, well actually you can go either phone directly or you can go settings. I'm just gonna go directly into phone and then you get this menu along here, which is very simple. I haven't done anything. This menu has just naturally come up where it's now looking to add a new device. In this case, I'm using a Tucson, so it's coming up as Tucson, but if it was an Ionic 5 or Santa Fe, it would probably come up as Ionic or Santa Fe. A code will then come up on the screen along here. And a similar code will come up on your phone, so just make sure they're the same code. At which point then, you can hit the pair button. And once you've done that then, it's going to ask you to allow download of your phone book. So once you see that pop up on your phone, just hit the allow button to allow you to proceed. And that's it then, everything is downloaded. So what will that allow you to do? Well, what you can do there is you can make some calls. Uh, so you got things like a dial pad and then you got your contacts, recent calls, messages. And the other thing it'll allow you to do is play some music. So if I go into, say, something like media over here, uh, I actually don't have any music on my phone, but if I did, I could Bluetooth some music, which would be Bluetooth audio. And it would naturally start playing the music that's on my phone. Or similarly, if I just had apps on my phone like Audible or Spotify, I could just go in and start playing directly from Audible or Spotify. And again, using the Bluetooth. So using those apps, I'll also be able to play them through the Bluetooth now because Bluetooth audio will come up as an option. When I go into the media options on the phone here, so you can see radio and all that stuff, but now I'm able to access Bluetooth audio. So what have you learned? Basically, uh, this is how you pair your phone. Pairing the phone allows you to, like we're saying, take calls, make calls, receive text messaging if it's enabled on your phone, and also play music that's on your phone, or also play music from the apps that are on your phone, like Audible or Spotify. The next part of the story then is Apple CarPlay. So there's some USB points in all of these cars. This is an Ionic, uh, but Tucson will be similar. You want to get the one that actually says USB. So some of them are for charging, but you're going to need to get the one that says USB because that'll allow data transfer. The great thing about Apple CarPlay is you can use a crappy cheap lead and it'll still work. Android's a bit fussy. Android needs a proper lead a lot of the time that came with your phone. Whereas I find on Apple, you can put any rubbish lead and it'll still be able to perform it. Anyway, the simple thing that you do is you literally plug it in. Apple is not based on an app. You just plug it into the phone. So before you do this on these 10.25 inch screens, you'll see that it has this um, phone projection set up in here, but it's okay, currently not available. So we plug the lead into the phone, click, it's in. Uh, it says basically a uh, couple of little options. Yes, okay, agree. And on your phone, you'll need to just hit allow. And that's it then, you're into Apple CarPlay. So that means you've got things like, if you're into Apple, then you'll know this screen. Well, it's very, very like the screen that you're used to already. So Google Maps and Apple Maps and Audible and Spotify and all that stuff, if you had it off, which I actually don't. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And then if you want to get back out of that, you just go into Hyundai. Or if you want to go back, back into Apple CarPlay, Apple CarPlay. For Android Auto, it's really similar. Plug into the USB. I'd advise a genuine cable. Some people reckon you don't need them, but I think you do. And then you'll be prompted on your screen, agree and next and allow. And then immediately again, Android Auto will now come up. And just like Apple CarPlay, it'll have all the apps that you're used to. And it's much easier and direct to use than using just traditional Bluetooth. So hopefully at the end of the video, you've now learned how to pair up your phone just for Bluetooth. Bluetooth will allow you to take calls. It'll allow you to play music uh, for music that's on your phone or use the apps. But if you use things like CarPlay or Android Auto, it's allowing you to go in and actually use the apps on your screen, Google Maps and all that kind of stuff. So much neater and more functionality on that. Anyway, hopefully the video is useful. Thanks a million for watching.